Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. x to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of 9. And in here, obviously, we're looking for the value of x. And from here, just by looking at the equation, probably a lot of you guys, a lot of you viewers out there already know how to solve this problem. And for those who don't, probably uh, you can uh, hang on until, uh, until the end to you would know how to solve this kind of equation. So in this video, I'll be presenting two ways to solve for the value of x. And both ways will be using the properties of exponent solve for the variable x. All right. And now let's start on the first method. So we start from here. And this is kind of somewhat different because on the right hand side is uh, in exponential form, 3 to the power of 9. And the best approach will be we're going to have the exponent mirrors what the base will be. So this is the whole exponent this is right here, x squared. So to make look the same way as the base, all we have to do make the base with the exponent of 2 at the same time over here. So x to the second power raised to x to the second power. So that will be our aim. Let's solve the equation x to the power of x is squared equals 3 to the power of 9 so from here then our first step will be raising to a power of 2 to make the exponent reflect the same way as the base on the left side of the equation so that is now x to the power of x is squared square it equals 3 to the power of 9 is square so that is squares both sides of the equation so from here we focus our attention on the left side of the equation the exponent power of 2 will be applying to exponent x squared so the equation now becomes x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2 equals right hand side we're multiplying the exponent 3 to the power of 9 times 2 what we have just done on the left side exponent is based on the properties of exponent that is a raised to m raised to exponent n can be written the same way as a to the power of m times n or this can be written the same way as a raised to n raised to m these are all the same so in here we just switch uh, places of those exponent to each other now so the side of the equation now becomes x to the power of 2x is squared is equal to 3 to the power of this exponent right here can be written the same way as 9 times 2 can be written the same way as 2 times 9 and now the equation can be written the same way as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of x is squared and the right hand side can be written the same way as 3 to the power of 2 and 9 can be written the same way as 3 squared since 3 squared is 9 so 9 becomes 3 squared now if we focus our attention on the base and the exponent the same way on the right hand side of the equation 3 squared and the exponent 3 squared this simply means that the base is the same as exponent likewise on the right hand side of the equation so by correspondence we can clearly see and conclude that x is squared is equals 3 squared so from here we therefore conclude that x is equal to 3 so x is equal to 3 that is our final answer now we're on the second method or second way how to solve this equation now this second method is kind of obvious and now we focus our attention on exponent 9 so 9 can be written the same way as 3 squared 
So if we substitute this value to the here on this equation, so this is now the right hand side is 3 to the power of 3 squared. Left hand side, x to the power of x is squared. Take a look. 3 corresponds to x. The same thing, 3 corresponds to x. And the exponent 2 corresponds to the same 2 on the left side. So this just simply means that x is equal to 3. Simple and short and straightforward. You can solve it by just looking at it. A few seconds, you can solve this equation. All right. And so our second method confirms value of x is equal to 3. That's our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day, everyone.